So the past two days I was having a bit of jet lag and I was not feeling that well. So I did not record much. I was just going all around. But today I will uh, move to my uh, second hotel, which is going to be very near from uh, the beach. I haven't been in the beach till now. Uh, I know it's weird staying this close to the beach and not visiting it but uh, the weather is kind of weird every time i try to go around the beach it starts raining so i was like if it start rains i have the phone and everything is going to get wet and uh, i don't to deal with all this hassle the beach is uh, near the next hotel it's like just in front of uh, the hotel so i was like okay i still have four more days uh, the actual vacation starts right now and those days I will, uh, I'll do a little bit of uh, vlogging and other stuff. The first two days I was just resting and uh, right now I feel pretty good. I am packed up everything. I am charging my phone. I still have uh, 45 minutes because the, there's a weird uh, situation in the hotels. I understand why they do it, but all the check-in times is uh, from two till like, you know, whatever the time the next day or whatever but uh, the checkout time have to be 12 so you have two hours on your hand that you don't have much things to do and uh, some hotels let you get in and put your stuff in others maybe just ask you to wait in the lobby so i'm hoping i can put my stuff inside the hotel room i'm gonna get and then i'll go outside have some lunch breakfast it's 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 breakfast time but uh, i haven't had my lunch or breakfast like it's past breakfast time but anyway so i am finishing all my stuff here uh making sure that i did not put anything i didn't even use this bed you can see it's clean and neat from the day one i only slept on that other one uh the main reason because the ac is in front of it so i don't want to get direct air from it and get, uh, catch a cold or something but uh, that's pretty much it uh, the weather is still pretty hot here so that's also a thing I have to bear in mind when I'm planning the long trips. So guys, I got wet because of the rain, like uh, the checking, it took two hours. So I thought I want to have a walk uh, to the nearest mall, which was 15 minutes walk. But on the way in, like they called me that my room is ready to check in after, after within an hour, like it wasn't so bad, uh, but it was started to rain so much. So I had to take a taxi uh, it was a motor taxi so it's a bike uh, I had to ride it and I got wet like <laughs> this water all around me I cleaned up a little bit but uh, I'm going to show you the new hotel I am in it's uh, Markland uh, beach view it's a very very decent uh, upgrade from uh, my last hotel to this one for the start this is the door this there is some stuff here not very up to date like this uh, shelf is it's kind of old okay where you can put your clothes and stuff i put my luggage my room there is some shelf down here to put your stuff there is a uh, another rear up space to put your stuff here and all the storage you have a uh, kettle or heater you, you may call it for water uh, in this side as you can see there is a decently large enough mirror so you can check yourself out on your way out let's show you, you guys the washroom okay as soon as I wear my shoe slippers so this is the washroom you have all the mandatory stuff big mirror okay this is a uh, this is way way better than the, my last one it also have a tub to take a night shower and a bath everything the, the washroom itself is much more cleaner and bigger than my last hotel not ex exactly but so complimentary drink and stuff fridge which is empty I have to fill it up because I'm going to stay here for four days okay this is only one bed this time it's a queen size bed 
I think. But as you can see, they used to be two, they made it one out of two. But I'm not complaining. Uh, the screen is a little bit smaller than the last one. Also, you have a mirror here, a uh, place to sit and use a laptop. For me, that's, that's what I'm going to use this spot for. Uh, chair to sit, but this, this is what actually makes everything worth it. This is uh, Pattaya Beach. Then you can have this view from here. I'm on the eighth floor and this building goes up to I think 27 or something. So this is the view. Uh, it's raining outside. Uh, it's almost three. So I will be enjoying a nice sunset today if I can see the sun. But this is so amazing. Like, I love the view. So with that, I'm going to spend here my next four days uh, in Pattaya. I'll be staying here on this hotel. And uh, that's pretty much it for the hotel review. I will be going out once the rain settles down a little bit because it's, it's still raining. I need to go out to grab some stuff from uh, the supermarket downstairs. Uh, the good thing about this hotel, it's uh, it has a supermarket and uh, I think they have a bar, they have a massage parlor, uh, a supermarket and a pharmacy as well uh, in the same building, the same building. You don't have to go out of it. Like all inside of it, you have all of them. So that's a good feature if you wanted to stay here and it's very, as you guys can see, it's exactly the other side of the, the beach. So you can just walk, it's less than a minute and you'll be in the beach. Right now it's rainy, so I wouldn't go outside, but I have to go and grab some water and stuff and drinks from the supermarket down. The next day. So you guys, you know, I, I'm still running on uh, Southeast time, so I'm sleeping at the same time. I uh, usually sleep and waking up at the same time, even though it is very late for this, this country. Like there's four hour difference from Saudi to Thailand. Uh, Thailand is running four hour plus four hour. So I, I, I woke up very late and because uh, I slept very late and it was so much sun. Like I can see from uh, the small uh, peak of the door of my balcony that there's so much light. And as, as soon as I get out of the house, this dark cloud. What can I say? Just my luck.
the next day. So I am at the beach. This is the Pattaya beach. It's famous uh, for uh, especially for these boats and you know paragliding and stuff people are all around there uh, today the weather is a bit cloudy so there's not as many people as uh, as normally there is otherwise this whole place is filled with people flying all around with uh, the parachute and uh, with attached in the boat so i think it's called paragliding and something uh, there are some restaurants in middle of the of the sea somewhere here yeah like like the larger ones those are uh, uh, restaurants in the middle of uh, the sea so if you want to go to them you have to hire a boat and go there uh, it's it's experience i for one i'm not a big fan of uh, the water so i'm not planning to go there i love to stay near it but to exactly go in it's, it's not my style next day so guys today is the last night i'm going to spend here in uh, pataya uh, tomorrow i will be leaving for uh, for bangkok i feel like i need to go and walk in the beach i was expecting to wake up early this morning i couldn't because of the timing i still i'm still sleeping at the same time at saudia which is four hour difference so i'm sleeping late I'm waking up late so right now I'm gonna go and uh, go to the bus stop, uh, get a, get a ticket for tomorrow's bus. But before I go, I want to show you guys the beautiful beach. It was uh, raining earlier. I wake up a bit late, but uh, I was at home sitting, uh, doing some data transfer from my cameras and stuff. For tomorrow, I need to clean up my memory storage. But it was raining, so I didn't went out. So. Just see how beautiful it is. So 
so I'm here at the bus station. Uh, it is not very far from uh, my hotel. Uh, it, I can come here for by walking like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. But I took a took a taxi because I, I'm still hungry. I need to eat. So tomorrow I got my ticket for tomorrow around 12. So I have to be here 11:30. So I'm just hoping it's a good bus. Okay, as it it is my last day in uh, Bataya. Um, I am at the place where I was first. Like the first scene I have seen in Pattaya when I came with uh, my brother, it's allowed me to be in, uh, was this 1031 because that's the first time I traveled in Thailand. I came to Pattaya first and I was, I was in a hotel just in front of the, uh, the airport, it's straight, like it's, it's, it's less than a minute walk. It's like you get in front of the hotel, you're basically in front of the, uh, the terminal 31. So the first view I had was of these planes and the big weird luggage. And also that time when I came, it was, I think it's near December, October, December, something. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure the time period, but it was very close to the season, which I'm thinking it, it might be, might have been in, during December. Uh, I could be wrong. I could, it could be October as well. But, uh, and from that moment, I, I, I have a, I have a special place for this uh, this mall. <laughs> exactly, it, it seems funny, but because I came here so many times. Now this is my fourth time. I came here uh, once with my brother. Uh, the second time when he came alone, I, I did not visit Pattaya. I was in Bangkok because it was during uh, COVID. Uh, the third time I came, I came with my my parents, and this is the only time I came alone in Pattaya. Now think of it. This is the only time I was I'm here alone. So. It's like uh, I have this feeling of uh, like maybe I'll not come here again. At least, if if nothing else, at least for a year, I have no plan. Like I'm not going to travel within a year anyway. And uh, if uh, that's the case, then then it's, it's also fine. But then again, it's uh, it's a thing. Like maybe I'll ne I'll never come to Thailand. Or even if I do come to Thailand, maybe I'll never come to Pattaya. So this is the plane. I'm talking about it's just behind me. Uh, so this is the mall as you can see. My hotel was there. They closed it. So my hotel was on the other side of the road. So right now I am in front of the plane. I'll take some shots here, take some pictures. Uh, it rained earlier so I, I'm hoping it will not rain again. So I'm just going to spend some time here. But it might be, might be my last day in Pattaya for a long time. Uh, the thing of Pattaya is there is not much stuff to do unless you want to do some water activities, which I myself is not a fan of uh, because I'm not good at swimming. I don't know how to swim, and I prefer not to go in the water. Uh, I I do have a, a phobia of water or something, so I keep uh, distance from that. So other than that, there is not much activity to do here in Pattaya. Uh, there is a zoo and. Uh, uh, aquarium I think but uh, it is so underrated like everyone is saying it's so bad in poor condition so I, I wa don't want to go there I'm thinking I'll, I'll go and visit the one in Bangkok which is highly praised I've been there once and it's highly praised and that's what I'm gonna do uh, most probably not tomorrow or after tomorrow when I'll, I'll be there so I'll just enjoy this moment and uh, see where my next vlog starts It's a very, very long elevator, as you guys can see. Very long. Uh, it's uh, at least like five states, five states of elevators all joined together to have one long to the top of the. I, I think there is one floor above it. Yeah, there's one floor above it. It's like on the fifth floor of the mall, uh, which is uh, like compared to normal building heights, it might be like seventh or eighth floor. But here it's like the fifth floor of the mall. Uh, the mall have, I think, additional one or two floors above that uh, for the mall only. Then they have this hotel, which is joined with this mall. So I'm gonna miss this one, man.
the one thing I love about Thailand is you see all this food. I have a beef steak, I have a chicken steak, spicy chicken steak with a mashed potato, two sauces on the side. I do have a, a free drink, it's a lemon tea, iced tea, something, some tea, iced lemon tea. All for 360 Thai baht, which is uh, around $10, and in my currency is like 34 35 Saudi rials. All of this. Uh, there is uh, there's missing item that they're gonna bring it, that there's gonna be a dessert uh, at the end. All of this is like $10. So this is this is way too cheap. Out of all the floors here in uh, Tabernan 21, uh, the Tokyo floor is my favorite because there's so many, so many colors here. Like it's so vibrant, and uh, there's so many anime-themed stuff. So it feels like I, something I, I actually know. But most of the place of uh, Italy, the other other countries' culture, I'm not that much aware of. It's not like I am aware of Japan or anything, but. It seems familiar in sense because I'm, I'm watching a lot of animes and I'm watching their shows and stuff. So I do get like somewhat, somewhat close to understanding what, what this culture is about. But, but I swear, I have no idea why, why this dog is doing this. Imagine here in one of the places they have, they have a shooting range. I never shot a gun in my life, like not a real gun. I shot a bunch of speakers. But if they actually do have it, and if I can get my first kind of shooting gun, I'll go for it. I guess my dream to be the sharpest shooter in this planet is not gonna happen because they're closed. They're closed at 6. And right now it's... Like I'm 49 minutes late. There's other shows I can attend, but... I'm not going to do it. 